Hey guys, welcome back to EAK TV. I'm delighted to have Angeliki Deri Pillo, the digital solutions expert from Everest. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Marian, as well, and uh, thank you for this nice interview. I'm very happy to be here today in the Delta, in the second edition of the Delta Summit, representing uh, Everest, my the company that I'm working. Uh, yes, I'm very happy. So tell us a bit more about Everest. So Everest actually is a multinational uh, company and part of NTT Data Company. NTT is actually the ninth largest ICT company in the world. And uh, Everest is uh, actually based in, uh, in Spain, but also has offices in, um, in actually in Europe, in, um, in Asia, in, in actually in Europe and Latin America. And NTT also covers operations in the uh, Middle East and, uh, and Asia. And uh, yes, we're here actually to talk about our solutions and uh, our work in uh, public administration, but also in different uh, use cases um, in different sectors of the economy. Sounds very impressive. So um, what brings Everest to Malta and specifically to Delta Summit? So we are actually here to, uh, to show and showcase our solutions and what we can offer. So we're mainly actually providing um, uh, business analysis solutions and also uh, consultancy in different uh, institutions. Uh, we're also uh, providing uh, consultancy services to, uh, to national level, but um, if you think about different sectors like health, from healthcare to education, employment, uh, ICT, which is also our core uh, business, I can name actually uh, quite some projects uh, that we're working for. Uh, we're also, um, we have an office in Brussels, uh, in Belgium, and we're actually uh, working closely. We're providing uh, services and support also to European institutions. Um, also, uh, we have providing also project management, uh, let's say, uh, support uh, to the European blockchain uh, infrastructure. Uh, that is actually now a new initiative of the, of the European Commission. Um, so, yes, and at the same time we uh, provide support to this employment uh, of the Commission regarding uh, digital sign credentials, a new project that the, the Commission, um, in cooperation with the Member States, uh, launched uh, recently. And we work on, um, to, uh, in a way, to find uh, the best blockchain solution to, to serve an accreditation database now that uh, is being developed for checking and verifying um, the accreditation status of, of universities in order actually to uh, prevent uh, diploma mills and to, uh, let's say, help um, member states uh, to uh, prevent fraud and, uh, in general, yes. Okay, perfect. So um, understand that you know you guys, especially in the blockchain area, you know you're advising businesses if they if they should you know in, implement blockchain. What would be the best blockchain to implement? You know how they how should it be implemented? So I, I find that very interesting. You know from a blockchain crypto enthusiast perspective, whether it should be like a permissioned blockchain or a permissionless blockchain that should be implemented within the business stru structure. Um, are you seeing uh, from a business standpoint more? focus on permissioned blockchains you know to be implemented rather than the kind of dystopian you know kind of permissionless blockchains that we probably all want to see like in the future so actually we we are in a way blockchain agnostic so it depends the the use cases that we like to work in or the proof of concept we also uh, let's say advise um, you know according to our clients to use the the solution that really the technology and the blockchain technology that serves better their um, interest and what they want to to achieve. So in this sense, yes, we're not really um, guiding on, on a specific uh, type of blockchain, either it's permission on public blockchain, but always our approach is to involve in this process a, a broad ecosystem of different type of stakeholders. Uh, and uh, at the same time also what we do is to consult also other existing standards, either in European or international level, that really strengths uh, our work uh, towards our clients. Cool. So um, as, a, you know, as a believer in crypto and blockchain, you know, I'm really interested to know what kind of companies you are advising, you know, especially ones that are interested to get into crypto and blockchain. Like what industries are they coming from are displaying interest into using a blockchain into their ecosystem? So we are actually um, one of our, uh, let's say, colleagues is also member of board member of uh, Alastria, which is actually uh, a national, let's say, uh, multi-sectorial uh, initiative uh, based in Spain. 
Uh, we are also uh, supporting uh, European institutions on different uh, solutions uh, linked to, to blockchain. Uh, for example, uh, EPSI, it's a European blockchain um, initiative uh, that the, the Commission also has recently and we actually provided, uh, let's say, advice on the project management uh, side, but also uh, we're supporting an uh, institution on uh, the creation of, of databases, of, for example, of qualification databases. And uh, in this case, for example, we, uh, we, since actually the Member States plays an important role, on this process, uh, we are thinking that, for example, a public blockchain is more, let's say, uh, fit uh, to this uh, to this specific uh, project. So, and all this to, in order to, what we want to achieve is actually to to serve the um, serve people, to serve uh, uh, our clients, and um, we see that technology, blockchain technology, is a tool that help us and enable actually our services to to achieve results than the other way around. So. We should, yeah. We consider that uh, an ecosystem of different stakeholders and institutions uh, can help us on uh, on our work. Um, so why Everest? You know, if I was if I was looking to choose, you know, a consultancy, you know, uh, to help my business look at emerging technologies, why would I choose Everest over, you know, a competitor of yours? What makes you guys unique? As we say, actually, uh, in Everis, attitude is actually very important for us. Uh, we're approaching our clients uh, not necessarily um, for, let's say, um, from the financial only point of view, but mainly to, to serve and to identify actually their needs. And this actually help, help us also grow within the company because our approach is, is completely different, I think, from, from other consultancy uh, firms. We also providing the services in um, in different uh, let's say aspects and the different uh, sectors of the economy. Uh, we're covering um, uh, different geographical areas. We're very multicultural, and uh, so all these elements actually I think that uh, they made us in a way unique and uh, competitive in uh, in the market. Awesome. Okay, and um, I understand that you're speaking at the conference at some point tomorrow. Uh, what are you talking about? Can you share with us, with our viewers, what you're talking about and why we should watch you? So actually, uh, tomorrow I'm talking uh, during a panel discussion about uh, blockchain is dominating the different industries, including education, digital identity, real estate, uh, finance. So the panel will be composed from uh, different uh, expertise, experts actually, uh, around the world and uh, yeah I'm very happy to to share the panel with people like them and um, yeah I'm looking forward to to meet uh, to meet them and discuss about these interesting topics awesome. okay. perfect and um, so where can we learn more about Everest Excuse me? where can we learn more about Everest how can we get in touch with you guys how can we learn more what's your website so we have actually a dedicated website uh, which is www.everest.com <laughs> and uh, we have different actually versions, uh, different uh, of uh, depends. <laughs> we have a set of B, and it depends actually on the location that uh, that we are. But uh, this link will work. Perfect. Okay. Angeliki, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, looking forward to your panel tomorrow, and I'll see you at the gala dinner tonight. I'm sure. That's EAK TV, everyone. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment below. And thanks for joining us.